All right, let's talk about how you guys have been able to deal with um, mental stress since the whole lockdown began. How has it been for you? How have you been coping? You've not been able to play football with your friends. Uh, you've not been able to play football with your teammates. Um, just tell me what you've been doing to stay strong. Um, so we try to do a mix of different things in a day. So it'll be, so if we, if coronavirus wasn't there, we would have school, we'll have football training, we'll eat, we'll stay together as a family. So we try to mix that in just so we won't feel as if it's, we're in different times. So we would probably, probably um, like read a book, play some games, go outside. Sometimes, most like every Thursday and Saturday, we would go, back, go to the beach just to play. And I think that's helped us stay strong and not lose our skill and focus because um we need to we need we need to we need to stay stay strong so we are, when we when this is over we can we can continue to do what we've been doing before all right let me let me talk to you um ab um have you been able to handle the situation you have three boys who play football and they're quite intelligent i must say but since march there's been a, a, a lockdown right here in nigeria but you are in oman over there uh, let, let me know what you've been doing so far to keep them sane because that, i think that's the best uh, choice of what i can find right now yeah um thank you very much uh, it is quite um, true what you what you said about them not being um, uh, trying to keep them sane, more or less. Yeah. Because every now and then, they come to me and say, Daddy, I'm bored. Daddy, I'm bored. I'm bored, I'm bored. And honestly, it drives me crazy. Mm -hmm. So what we've been able to, to do um, as a family is, um, our sitting room is quite, is quite spacious. So we've been able to create like um, goalposts on, on, on either side. And then when we play 2v2, I and Jamin, David and Hansel, and then we we'll play once, like maybe two or three times in a week until Jamin got injured, and then we stopped that. So the good thing now is um, the government of Oman, they've allowed us now to begin to go to the beaches where we could um, have a, a wide uh, space and area to, to play with. So we go to the beach on Thursday and on Saturday. So on Thursday, we go, we play football, we go with our cones and our um, small training, training stuff. And then after that, we jump into the, um, the ocean and do some swimming. So it's been, it's been really like that. We've been just going on and on and trying to keep them busy and uh, um, their minds still stay focused. You know, I, I got a couple of videos from you and I watched them and I must say, these kids are talented. I mean, just pull me through um, how they started football, uh, the training process, and where you are intending for them to go. Yeah, well, um, they all started really, really young. Uh, David started immediately. We, we came here uh, in Oman, like uh, 2014. So David started, I enrolled him in, at the uh, Arsenal, uh, Arsenal uh, Academy, Oman. And that's where it all started. David uh, was, uh, how old were you then, David? Um, five years old. Uh, he was about five, five-ish, I think five years old, yes. Okay. And then um, growing up, David Ansel started about the same time. And then um, Jamin came in too. You will, you will be shocked to see what they were when they were that little. I, I have some small video when Jamin was running with the ball in his hands. But you won't believe what he's doing with the, with the football right now. So that's David, David. Um, so we, we progressed from there. So somehow from Arsenal, the academy moved over to Juventus Academy. And so they all also went through to Juventus. And that's how they progressed. The training was, was spectacular. You had uh, coaches from, from uh, Turin who came and then gave them the same um, uh, training that they do with the academies there. Um, the good thing is last year we were able to attend um, two Academy World Cups. We attended the, um, uh, the Barcelona Academy World Cup where um, they represented the United States uh, because again, they went for um, a summer camp in the United States and they picked them, the three of them, to represent their age, uh, age groups. So we came back to Oman and then they had the, um, the Juventus uh, Academy World Cup in June last year and where David came, came up as one of the best 10 players okay. 
Yeah. You had quite a, a number of academies there. Even there are some Ni Ni Nigerian academies too. Um, Nigeria, uh, Juventus Nigerian team that also went in there and they did very well. Mm. So uh, I can see them progressing. Uh, 